Hey guys, just a quick video on looking at chemical fuels for energy and we'll have a look at different foods related to them as well. So the three main fuels, um, you'll have already come across these before, are carbs, fats and proteins. So what is energy? Well, energy is ATP basically, so adenosine triphosphate. It's one adenosine molecule and three phosphate molecules. And when one of those phosphate molecules breaks off, it releases energy and that's what provides um, the source of energy for a muscular contraction. So when you need to make more ATP, because your muscles only store about two seconds worth, um, you rely on different fuels. So carbohydrates is one of the main ones during aerobic and anaerobic exercise. So there's two types of carbs. It's simple and complex. Simple are the ones that you find in lollies and um, sports drinks, and they're the ones that give you an instant hit of sugar. So if you're running out of energy, um, this sort of sugar is the, the one that you want. The complex are the starch ones, so the pasta and potatoes, and they will be the ones that when you hear athletes um, carbohydrate loading, that's the sort of carbs that they'll be using to do that because they store a lot more rather than being um, kept as glucose in the blood. When um, carbs are stored, uh, there's three different spots. So blood, as glucose in the muscles and liver as glycogen um, but when the muscles and liver have taken as much as they can in terms of glycogen then the excess carbs are stored as fats. So fats themselves there's two different types saturated and unsaturated doesn't really matter what sort when it comes to exercising and both of them would be used. Um, so the saturated ones you find in animal products such as dairy um, and meat and then the unsaturated ones you find in plant products such as avocado, avocados, nuts and um, olive oil. Fats are stored in the blood as free fatty acids, so they're very small versions. They're stored in adipose tissue, which is basically fat tissue, um, as triglycerides. And then excess fats are obviously stored as fats. And protein is found in animal foods such as meat, poultry, fish and eggs, but it's also found in plant foods. And that's um, found in things like beans, pasta and lentils. And they're stored in the blood as amino acids and they're also stored in the muscle as amino acids but when you have too much protein um, then that was is also stored as fat so basically any sort of energy source if you have too much of it it's stored as fat because that is the storage um, capacity that your body defaults to when you intake too much energy in your diet so fuel contribution at rest um, this basically means what your body defaults to when um, it's using chemical fuels for cellular processes. Obviously you're not exercising, so there's not a great demand for oxygen, so your body can afford to use fats. So it uses about two-thirds fat to one-third carbs. Doesn't mean that you'll lose weight while sitting down, it just means that for all the basic processes that are still functioning in your body, like um, thinking and postural support, those sorts of um, activities, then your fats will be utilized for those things. Um, the glucose is spa uh, spared or saved for exercise. So just in summary, carbs, fats and proteins are the three main fuels or the three only fuels that you will get from food that helps um, create ATP during muscular contractions. And during rest, your fats are your primary fuels, but during exercise that will flip over and glucose become your primary fuels. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for the video on energy systems.